In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Blender's first-person control features. So Blender actually has first-person control features, kind of like in a video game, and when you turn it on, it'll allow you to walk around your 3D scenes or fly around, kind of like how you would in a normal video game. And it can be very helpful for navigating around in your 3D scenes, or also if you just want to explore a 3D scene that you created, it can be very fun to do that. So I just threw together this little scene right here, all of these low poly nature assets are from a tutorial that I created on how to create low poly nature. Links in the description if you'd like to check that out. And you can also purchase the low poly nature assets on my Gumroad store and Patreon page. I'll have the links in the description. And if you'd like to have this exact 3D scene that I have right here, then I will also be selling this 3D scene on my Gumroad store and you can also get it on my Patreon as well. So how you activate the first person controls is you press the shift tilde button. So press Press the shift tilde button or also the grave accent. I'll throw a picture right up there on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. And the tilde button is right underneath my escape key on the top left of my keyboard. So just press the shift tilde and then that is going to activate the first person controls. So now I can move my mouse around and that is going to move around my view. And then what I can do is I can use the WASD keys. So the W, S, A, and a D and that is going to move move me around just like in any regular computer game. You can also use the arrow keys to move around. And then also if you want to move up and down, you can press the E key, that's going to move you up. And then you can also press the Q key and that's going to move you down. Now there are a couple other ways to activate the first person controls. So you can also just click on view and then you can go right down here to navigation. And then right down here, you can see that there is a fly navigation and walk navigation. So the walk navigation was the one that I was using so I can click on walk navigation and then I can use the WASD keys to move around and the fly navigation I'm going to be going over that later in this tutorial and then there is one more way to activate this you can just press F3 and that's going to go to the search and then you can search for walk and you can just click on the walk navigation now when you are in the walk navigation you can press the tab key and the tab key is going to activate gravity and so now you can see that my little character kind of fell down here on the mesh and then I can just use the WASD keys to move around or the arrow keys and you can see that I am basically walking around in this 3D scene and I created this scene in Blender Eevee so it's real time so it kind of feels like I'm walking around some little low poly video game 3D scene and you can see that I'm actually kind of bumping up on these objects so if I like walk onto this little log here I'm actually going to kind of pop up onto the log and also like if I walk over to a tree you can see that I'm going to go through the mesh and it's going to pop me up on the tree so now I'm standing on the tree and then I can just like hop down and then if you press the tab key again that is going to turn off the gravity so then I can just kind of move my view around and fly around so this is a very cool feature to play around with now if you scroll up the scroll wheel it's going to change how fast you move so if you want to move faster just scroll the scroll wheel up or if you want to move slower you can just scroll the scroll wheel way down and now you can see I'm moving very slow and this will work as well for when you're walking around with the gravity so if I just scroll my scroll wheel really small now you can see I'm not moving very fast or I can scroll up and now I'm going to kind of run a lot faster and then if you hold down the shift key that's going to kind of activate it's almost like a run like if you hold down the shift key now you can see that I'm moving a lot faster and then if you hold down the alt key you're going to go much slower so it's sort of like a running mode and a crouching mode um, and you can do this for when you're flying as well so I just hit the tab key to turn off the gravity and then I'm going to go forward and I can hit the shift key to move faster or also the alt key if I want to move slower and then if you have the gravity turned on you can press the v key and the v key is going to make you jump so I could like go up to this tree. Let me just go through the tree and that'll just kind of bring me up to the top of the tree. I can press the W key to move forward and then press the V key and you can see I just like hopped off of the tree. And then hopefully you can see this in the very center of my screen. There's a little crosshair. If you press the space bar, that is going to jump you to wherever the crosshair is. So if I just point my crosshair 
like right down here on the tree and then press the space bar, that's gonna bring me to that location. And this will work with the gravity turned on and the gravity turned off. So you can see right now the gravity is turned on so I can just walk around and then press the space bar and that's gonna bring me over to wherever the crosshair was pointing. You can see I just kind of hit into the tree and fall down. The other way to do this is by clicking down the middle mouse wheel. So click down the middle mouse button and that's gonna hop you to wherever the crosshair is. And then if I'm moving around and I just wanna place my view and then go out of the walk navigation, I can just left click and that'll just place it and then I can just move around normally. I'm just gonna press the shift tilde again. So if I'm moving around and I wanna go back to my original position, I can just hit the right mouse button and you can see it's gonna hop me back to my position that I was before I started walking around. Or if you're walking around, you can also just hit the escape key and that's gonna go back to your original view. Now, everything that I just showed you can also be done in the camera's view. So if I press the zero on the numpad, that's gonna hop me into the camera view. I can now press the shift tilde and you can see that we are now moving around the camera's view and everything pretty much works the same. So I can hit the tab key to turn on the gravity and I can scroll with my mouse wheel and I can also press the space bar to zoom into things. Now, what's so cool about doing this in the camera view is I can actually animate the camera and then walk around. So I have the timeline right here and you can see on the end value I've just set the timeline to a giant number. So now what I'm going to do is click on this button right here and this is going to turn on the auto key. This way now whenever you move something it's automatically going to add a keyframe. So I can now press the space bar to play the timeline. Then I can press the shift tilde and that's going to activate the walk navigation and then I can press the tab key and that is going to turn on the gravity. So now you can see that the timeline is playing and because I have the auto key on it's actually adding keyframes. So I'm just going to move around. I'm going to kind of jump a few times and just kind of walk around this 3D scene. So I'm now going to just left click to place that there and then I can press the space bar to pause the timeline. And you can see because the timeline was playing it was adding keyframes. So now if I go back here I'm actually going to turn off the auto key so it doesn't add keyframes anymore. I can now press the space bar to play and you can see because we did this in the camera's perspective, it actually added keyframes to the camera. So now I can kind of watch my playback. And so if you wanted to create a 3D animation where you were walking through a 3D scene, this would be a really easy way to animate the camera. And if I navigate out here, you can actually see there's my movements and the camera is kind of walking around the 3D scene. And with the camera selected, I'm just gonna press the A key in the timeline to select all of the keyframes. And then I can press X to delete and I'm just gonna delete the keyframes. Now, as well as having the walk navigation there's also a fly navigation and the fly navigation is very similar it's just a little bit different the main difference with the fly navigation is that it's much more smooth now the shortcut key for the fly navigation is actually the same shortcut key so we need to go into blender's preferences and then tell blender whether we want to use the walk navigation or the fly navigation so I'm just gonna click on edit and then I'm gonna open up the preferences so in blender's user preferences just make sure you click over here on the navigation and then right here you can can open up this walk and fly tab. So you can see on the view navigation, there is a default one which you can choose from. So on default, it's set to walk, but you could also click on fly instead. So there's basically two different modes and whichever one this is set to, the shift tilde key is going to activate this mode. And then also while we're in the user preferences, I did wanna show you, if you select the walk in the view navigation, there's actually gravity settings and walk settings. So there's mouse sensitivity, there's also the walk speed, if you want to change the default walk speed and also on the gravity here you can actually change like the jump height so if you want to just kind of play around with those settings you can do that as well so i'm going to click on fly and this way when i use the shift tilde it's going to use the fly navigation instead of the walk navigation so i can now close the user preferences so now again i'm going to use the same shortcut by hitting the shift tilde or the shift grave accent and now you can see that everything is much more smooth. So you can see that if I move my mouse kind of out here in the corners, we're going to look around and you can see it's very, very smooth. And this maybe looks a lot more like a video game. And then again, you can use the WASD keys and that's going to move you around. And you can see it's very smooth. It's much more smooth than just the normal walking. So again, you can use the WASD keys to move around, use your mouse, just kind of bring your mouse around and that's going to change where you're going and where you're looking. And then also you can use the arrow keys if you want to move around as well. And then you can use the E key to move up and you can 
use the Q key to move down. But in the walk navigation, if you use your scroll wheel, that's going to change the speed. But in the fly navigation, using your scroll wheel is actually going to make you go forward or backwards. Now, if I click and hold down with my middle mouse wheel, that is going to pan. So I can just move back and forth now. So what I'm doing is just clicking down with my middle mouse wheel, and then I'm kind of moving my mouse around. And you can see that we're basically going to pan around and we're not going to move forward or backwards. And then just like the walk navigation, there's a few different ways to activate this setting. So if you changed it in the user preferences, then you can press the shift tilde and that's going to activate it. But you can also just click on view and you can go right down here to navigation and then you can click on a fly navigation and that's going to activate the same thing. Or you could also press the F3 for the search and you can search for fly and you can just click on the fly navigation. And then again, just like you can use the walk navigation in the camera, you can also use the fly navigation in the camera. So I'm going to press the zero on the numpad that's going to bring me into the camera's view and then I'm going to animate this just for the fun of it. So in the camera's view I'm going to click on this button to turn on the auto key and then I can press the space bar to play the timeline. Then I can press the shift tilde and that's going to activate the fly navigation and then I can just kind of fly around and I can kind of fly around my 3D scene and kind of look around. Now with the fly navigation you're not able to use the gravity if I press the tab key, the gravity isn't going to work, and that's because we're flying, we're not walking. All right, so I can just click to place that there. Then I can press the space bar to pause my animation, and then I can just go back to the starting, and I can just play through this, and as you can see, it's all animated. So you could render out the frames using this method and then create an actual animated video. And then there is one more cool thing that I wanted to show you. So what I did is I created this little scene here with like some moving platforms, and you can see right over here, these are just some different objects with some animated platforms and I use shape keys so I animated the shape keys and then made a looping animation so the platforms are moving up and down and I'll have a free download of this blend file on my Gumroad and Patreon with the link in the description if you'd like to try out the little platform game that I created in Blender so I'm just going to go to the starting position and then what you can do is you can press the space bar to play then you can press the shift tilde and that is going to activate the walk navigation and then you can press the tab key and that is going to turn on gravity. So I can now just walk around and you can see I've used Blender Eevee just to create some real-time graphics and so now the goal is to try to get up there um, to go through all the platforms and get to the end of the game. So I'm just gonna walk onto this platform, step on, and on the moving platforms you have to keep walking because if you don't keep walking then the platform is not going to pull you along so you have to like walk as the platform is moving um, and then again you can also scroll with your mouse wheel if you want to change the speed of the walking. Uh-oh, and I just fell off, and so now I'm just falling forever. And what I'm going to do is just click with my middle mouse wheel, and I'm just going to use my grappling hook and just kind of hop back up here. Let me just press the tab key to turn off the gravity, and I'm just going to fly back here. All right, tab key to turn on the gravity. All right, so now for this platform that's going up and down, I have to like keep walking because if I just stand still, I'm just gonna go through the platform. But if I like keep walking and walking around in circles, it's gonna just bump me up there on the platform. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the end of the little platform game. All right, I'm gonna hop on it, keep on walking. Run, 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 run. All right, we made it. <laughs> and hop onto this one. Oh, this is a tricky one because I have to hop from moving platform to moving platform. And there we have it. So I made it through the, the little platform game that I created. Let's actually just hop off. Ah, <laughs> and I'm falling forever. So again, I'll have a free download of this blend file with the link in the description. If you'd like to try it out, it is kind of fun to play around with. So that is it. That is how you use Blender's walk navigation and fly navigation. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.